What's up guys? It's your boy Kish, Kish My World and welcome to another beautiful video here. Thanks for everybody who's been subscribing to the page and joining in and today I have an awesome video for you guys like this is totally random. Yeah, I'm here at home in Fashta as you guys know. I'm chilling at home and then I got a text from one of my friends and was like hey there's a friend of mine who's uh, a friend of mine who's telling me her brother is in Stockholm and they need someone to come and just crash and just shower and just you know just have some few moments. And I was like, yeah, I'll be here for a few days so you can tell them to come to my place and do that. And then I met these amazing guys. These guys are so random, you know. These guys just decided to pack their bags, come to Sweden and Stockholm, and just go without having any accommodation, without having anything. It's just a crazy, crazy story. But I don't want to spoil the fun. I want you guys to hear it from them yourselves. So now let's go direct to it. You guys, introduce yourself. Let me show you these guys. Here they are. Hey. Here they are. <laughs> All right, we can start with you, man. What's your name? I'm Yoni. Hello. Yoni, where are you from? I'm from Germany, I'm from, from Dresden. From Dresden? Yeah, right. Okay, how old are you? I'm 21. 21. And you, my friend? My name is Rudolf. I'm the brother of this of the sister, the Texas. Ah, you. yeah, the brother. I'm the 19 years old, also from Dresden, but now I will study in Munich. All right, nice. And finally? Yeah, I'm Luca. I'm 20 years old. I'm also from Dresden, and yeah, I study in Dresden. All right, man. These are the guys. So one question, how did you guys meet? We actually met in the big band of our high school. We were all three playing instruments, drums, saxophone, I played e-guitar. And last year these two guys graduated, I graduated this year from high school, but uh, we still stick together. Now let's just go direct into the heat of this thing. How, how did you guys decide to just take a random trip, you know, and just, you know, <laughs> okay. can you just okay. tell us how it came about? So, I don't know where it was, but I was talking with Jonathan and so I was like looking at the map and was like, oh, Scandinavia is so huge, okay, mm. such a huge part of the world. In yeah. Europe. But I never really went there. And so I, I said to Jonathan, come on, let, let's go this summer to, to Sweden. And then we looked up Sweden, oh, there's Stockholm. And then, um, yeah, we said, oh, let's do it. Mm. And it was like, let's do it. And the next day, um, Jonathan just sent a photo ah. of a screenshot how he bought a flight ticket. Wow, to go that's a booking confirmation. And I was like, it's so random. Yeah, and I was like, fuck, he's making a deal. <laughs> and then I also was like, okay, let's do it. Wait, so you just suggested the idea to him and immediately he bought the Yeah, the immediately ticket. he bought the ticket. It was, it was like no, more like a deal. And, wow. and I was thinking kind of forced us to buy a ticket yeah. as well. Yeah. So we booked a ticket and no apartment. And then we flew to the Stockholm. And that's and the wow, guys, this how, how random is that? So he just got the <laughs> idea, he went and bought the ticket, and boom. So you guys bought the ticket before you even had a plan, before you even thought about anything? Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh -huh. okay, so, yeah. and later on, how did the, the idea of uh, just not spending any accommodation money or anything, or looking for accommodation? Okay, it was huh? kind of like, so for the one, so for the one reason was just because, um, we want to experience because we love to talk to people. Well, yeah. Because we think if you like to know the country, you have to know the people. Yes. And for the other reason was just because we are kind of uh, lazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, okay, so let's don't search for Airbnb. And then there's a big reason because uh -huh. um, so so many people say, yeah, you need money for traveling mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. something like this. And then mm -hmm. we show them, no, you don't need money. Yeah, 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 it's a very good way to show people that you don't need money like to travel. Yeah, you right. can also just, if you want to do it, you gotta do it. Yeah, because it's true. Like even me, I hear a lot of people saying I can't travel because I don't have money, because I don't, I can't afford it because of everything. But you can just jump on a plane and let the universe yeah. take over, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, all right. I mean, especially in Sweden, it works very well because people are so kind. Yeah, that's ah. exactly. For example, yeah. we arrived on Tuesday, the yeah. 2nd of August. And we were like at the evening around 11 p.m. or something like this, walking uh, through the streets without any apartment. We didn't know where we slept mm -hmm. and where we, where we will sleep. And like we were about to say, okay, let's go to a park mm -hmm. and sleep at the, on the bench. Wow. <laughs> and then we started, no, we, can, we can't do it. It started raining. So yeah, we were like, yeah. Okay, we were like kind of forced to ask people. Mm -hmm. And then we just asked one guy, a random guy on the street. Wow. And we said, you know, we were brutally honest with him. John mm -hmm. told, <laughs> we told uh, the situation. Um, his, his name was Leon actually, mm -hmm. and he, oh, he, he, <laughs> he was actually he actually had an apartment, mm -hmm. um, but his apartment was empty because he was staying at a friend's house yeah. for the Pride uh, Pride um, yeah the week. Pride festival yeah. So he gave us his keys for the apartment a little bit outside of the city. 
He was just like, okay guys, you know, I trust you. I give you my keys. This is the address. I will pick you up at 11 and we eat breakfast together. Wow. So that was the first day we had. <laughs> wow, you guys, how random is that? Day one. Yeah. yeah. At one o'clock we were like walking to a suburb of Stockholm mm. like with this wood cabins and we just walked there and had a key for an apartment mm. and it felt so crazy. And, and the best thing is like the people are so surprised if you came open mind to them. Yeah. And, yeah, if you're open, yeah, so, that's, oh my god, yeah, so <laughs> you're so excellent. Yeah, but you guys, regardless of what, in case, like, let's say it didn't rain and you guys didn't find any accommodation, you still would have like slept in the park or in the ground because that was that's a goal you have, like, you're trying to make it that like, you have to make it work somehow. Exactly. So, you guys were willing to sleep anywhere, even in the ground, in the grass, oh, bench, the bench, the bench, <laughs> yeah, we like we flew to Stockholm knowing that there's a possibility that we will sleep mm. on a bench in the park okay we already but tried <laughs> yeah we already tried it out just for just in case that we know what it's, it's okay but it's okay, <laughs> it's okay. yeah so, but, but it's really fun and it's but till yeah. now it was like the fourth night in stockholm in sweden and every single night we had a warm bed and a good breakfast in the morning so it was perfect actually wow <laughs> yeah. it worked out well it worked we have two nights yeah. left um, like a t Monday night or like um, Tuesday morning our flight goes back to Berlin mm -hmm. so we have two more nights to stay somewhere but I think um, we're um, we're optimistic and I think we're looking forward to find more places and yeah I think work out okay <laughs> but when when you guys like uh, are looking for places to stay apart from like you said like you talk to random people but what other ways are you trying to get like get one out there at here or can we crash at your place can we have a place to sleep are you talking to people are you sending people texts are you telling people uh, your friends to share like what methods are you using like, <laughs> like for example if i decide i want to do the same thing give me some tips how do i get accommodation from people to host me for free how can you so one thing what we learned about uh, in this trip so be um directly say what you want mm. so not like so at the first we say yeah um we know uh, we needed a place to meet people and then yeah so we change our strategy strategy yeah <laughs> and yeah say okay we need to stay and i say oh my god okay come with yeah. Me. So, <laughs> yeah so the direct to the point yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. just say what you want yeah, yeah. So, exactly all right exactly. nice that's the only thing that works mm. yeah, before that we were like okay we have to be kind to the people yeah and first of all be friends with the people and then ah. we ask them but, but it takes uh, so much yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Well. because when the night hits they need somewhere to sleep at the end of the day <laughs> you gotta sleep you gotta put your bed your head somewhere yeah Okay, now I'm wondering, uh, when you're doing these trips, what are the fears you have? Aren't you afraid like maybe you'll go and a, a psycho will tell you, come into my house and he steals everything you have? And... <laughs> I think the only, the only fear we have is to sleep at a bench in the park. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we keep asking people. I mean, we're yeah. like um, three kind of strong boys, so I don't think we have... If there is a serial killer, yeah. I think we have, we have a good chance. <laughs> you have a good chance, yeah. And I think we also have a good... Uh, feeling about who we can trust and who mm. we can ask yeah so if Stomach there's yes feeling. exactly yeah okay um so fears just the only fear is where we will stay at night like yeah the next the only, only thought yes yeah but even there we treat it not with fear but with respect so yeah 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 um yes but that's what you have to do you have to be optimistic about yeah it. so uh now my next question would be uh, is this the only country you're gonna do this for or do you plan on doing other places or like wh what's the plan what's the future I actually hope that we will do it in the United States one day that's actually oh. my dream <laughs> I don't know if these two guys will come with me I hope so yeah but the um, same concept totally. exactly yeah. I mean since it worked out so well in Sweden I think we also have a chance in the US um, so I'm looking forward to um, be there and do it again how are you guys traveling? Do you have bags? Do you, are you coming with no clothes? Are you coming with like, yeah? Because <laughs> <So, laughs> you know, maybe they want to travel light and they have nothing. So uh, maybe somebody is asking that question out there. How, so, how are you traveling? So traveling, traveling must be easy. Mm -hmm. So you don't have like too much bags or in the hand or mm -hmm. something like this. So only t like we had a backpack uh -huh. and then two t-shirts. To draw not, not like ah. a backpack, like yeah. a backpack. Kind yeah, of yeah, backpack. A, like a, normal, backpack. a normal backpack. Normal backpack. Like, like a school bag. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> like a school yeah, bag. Yeah. We didn't book any luggage on um, flight because we want yeah. to keep the flight as um, we want. We want. We didn't want to spend mu much money on flight. And also, yeah. also, if you have like a huge bag, you can't. You're not mobile in the city and everywhere. Yeah. So sometimes you have to be 
we have to be creative uh, yeah. with our bags because we don't want to carry them around. So yeah, exactly. every, day, every day we just go to hotels, tell them that our father <laughs> from New York <laughs> comes at 10 p.m. Yeah. So we can't check in now, but can we leave our luggage here and our okay. stuff? And they say, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> and then at 10 p.m. we go there and say, oh, sorry, our father um, misspelled the ho hotel. Yeah. It's the other hotel. Can we get our luggage back? And it always, always worked. Wow. Really? <laughs> That's a nice strategy. So, <laughs> so it would be actually better if you upload this video after Tuesday because then we are yeah. in the country, so no hotel waitress will see this. Yeah. Uh, also, it's been working for you guys. That's really smart. You know, these yeah. are the, yeah. actually. Uh, yeah. So you, you must find the smartest uh, ways. Yeah. To... Actually, give us tips. Give us more tips. Like, uh, for example, guys, if you wanna go out there and you wanna do like a random trip or something, this is a very good thing. I like. I'd really want to try something like this. So give us just random tips of what you guys do. How you guys okay you know, okay i survive. think one, one thing is very important so if you're in a group like you you should do like team like team decisions and mm -hmm. so always we do like we said like we have if we do something like everybody has to decree uh, agree and yeah, yeah, yeah to agree like, on it yeah so, you, so if you if you have if you like to do this kind of trip you got to be a good team yeah okay uh, teamwork yeah. teamwork works yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah yeah i also have this um saying in germany um that goes like if you're strange you win Be, i mean you have to do things nobody would you expect to do that mm. just like in the hotel nobody would expect that yeah random guys put their luggage there <laughs> yeah, just yeah. For free. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, that's very like, true of course sometimes you have to, to be kind of tricky mm -hmm. but um you have to be that kind of tricky that you don't hurt people or harm people yeah you know yeah uh, for the hotel manager it's just like just three luggage so yeah it doesn't yeah all. it doesn't really exactly much. and if you ask people can i stay at your at your house at your apartment for the night it doesn't cost anything yeah um but just be a little kind of strange yeah <laughs> and then yeah don't be afraid to speak to other people or come in touch with them so i know for example if you in a, in a subway station and you ask uh, a guy can we stay there at mm -hmm. your house and then you say oh my god maybe the other people around thinking mm. oh what's this for guys and so nobody interesting interests what what you say to this yeah. guy so yeah you, ah. you, you never see them again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So important. You never see them again. No yeah, one, yeah. Nobody interests what you say to this guy and if you don't want to stay. So if you have to stay, you win. So. Yeah, nice. Exactly. Yeah. You have a question? Yeah, like, do you get a lot of people saying no? Yeah. Actually, surprisingly, mm -hmm. just a few. Like, let's say, uh, for example, on Wednesday, mm -hmm. we asked, um, let's say, six to seven people. Maximum, we, we yeah. even even asked the police oh. <laughs> and, and but the seventh guy said yes sure you yeah. can be at my home and we never ask more than seven people yeah. actually yeah, yeah. So half an hour maybe and always honest. the most of the people who say no it's like they have a good reason so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah like yeah, one okay. room or yeah one room because you're three huge oh, guys yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> these guys are really tall by the way <laughs> <laughs> They're real Germans, you know. <laughs> yeah, good thing my couch is long so you guys could fit, you know. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah. Nobody says no because they just don't want to, right? And even if they have like only one room, like mm. on Wednesday, yeah, Tuesday with yeah. Max, uh, yeah, even if they have only one room, they take everything out so yeah. if they, that we can stay yes, there. Yeah. So it's ah. super good. Or, if you really want yeah. something, you find a solution. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No but but always be friendly. And if, if 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 you feel oh my god maybe you can say no say okay it's okay say no yeah so be friendly <laughs> yeah <laughs> ah yeah. okay but uh, are you guys like maybe in are you you haven't done the bench yet right <laughs> <laughs> but don't you guys don't not you guys yet, want to do it for fun it's just for fun to uh, see like how it would be I think it would be a good challenge maybe for uh, for, <laughs> for last day uh, so. no no for today. for lunch. Lunchdown. Yeah. But not yeah. for the night. Not for the night, no. Uh, for siesta. Oh, because you guys, because you actually, you don't even have like sleeping bags or anything. Nothing, so it would be nothing. just the way you guys are. It would be cold. Man. Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah, it's it's true. True. yeah, you should do it in a warm country, not yeah. in Sweden. Because you know, guys, in Sweden, it gets really cold at night. So it's not the best place to try. But uh, I'm sure it's going to go well. So, any parting shots? Any last words for the people? Thanks, Go. Sweden. Thank you, Sweden. Yeah, thank you, yeah. so you, was, you treated us so well. Go out. We'd love to come back again. Go out. 
do something what you want. Be random, take risks. Yes, 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 yeah. Yes. <laughs> nice. And uh, <laughs> actually, you have a YouTube channel, right? Uh, yes, I have a YouTube channel. Um, yeah. It's called Gen Fu. I make videos where I'm speaking Chinese, so check it out. Yeah, uh, yeah. introduce your video in Chinese so that the Chinese people watching maybe they okay. can say something <laughs> in Chinese. Yeah. 大家好,我的名字是林建福 Link is in the bio. <laughs> yeah, uh, I understand the link also, is in the bio uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Instagram, luka.finger Oh, Instagram, like the finger, yeah, yeah. nice <laughs> Yo, on Instagram, maybe people can J-O-N-F-N Okay, nice. All right, guys, man, these are this guys, amazing guys. They've just been traveling. They've just been there, doing their random thing, you know, out there asking people, being brave, you know, taking the risks. It's a challenge for me, you know. Actually, I would want to try that sometime. I don't know. I need to find. I need to get these guts and just ask random people, can I sleep here? Can I do this? But yeah, these guys are really cool. It's been nice having you guys. Hey, so yeah, hey, smile hey, for the camera. Hey, nice. Yeah. yeah, see you. <laughs> Keep subscribing, liking this page for more amazing content. And we are out. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>